Personally, I think this is the best app for recording your screen and doing um, videos like the ones I do for every tutorial I do. So basically, ScreenFlow, what it does is record um, your screen, everything you do, like move your mouse or anything you do on your screen, it records it. And you can, it also records your voice, the system voice, and your face or your eyesight camera. So um, you can download this app cracked already um, by going to the link on the description it's version 1.5.1 and basically when you install it you're gonna see a configuration window or uh, configure recording but now I can't see because I'm recording um, but you can see three things record audio record your eyesight camera and record your screen so you might have to install some extra plugins to record the audio and your camera but just install them real fast um, and then you hit record, you see a 5 second um, timer and it starts recording, you see the green light on your eyesight camera so um, once it starts recording uh, you can see that uh, black dot right there and once you finish you just um, hit stop recording or the shortcut right here um, and it will open a, a window like this one for example and this is a recording I just did um, so here it says the duration of the video uh, here you see the two um, resources for the video this one right here is your screen recording with the system file uh, system audio and this one right here is your microphone and your eyesight camera so um, if you drag this one to the bottom for example um, it's sort of like in Photoshop you know what's in the top is what's in the front so uh, this one is um, almost always on the top I think um, and you can do a few things right here like for example move your eyesight uh, uh, recording or just drag it outside if you don't want to see your face but only have your audio so uh, you can also screw, uh, scroll up and down to zoom in or just go right here to scale it big or small um, you can also flip it by going like this um, actually where'd it go um, something bad happened let's see there we go uh, for some reason or well, you can do it like that you can, it's 16 hours you can go like this uh, move it like that just do whatever you want scale it down um, if you hit shift and scale it down it will keep the aspect ratio um, so this is good if you want to for example make it a square so uh, that's how you do it um, you can also add a shadow uh, reflection in the bottom you can add audio properties. I always crank this up to 170 because for some reason I always talk low. And you can add effects. Uh, you can um, click this one right here and put a pointer as a circle or whatever, or um, make a click effect like a radar. Uh, you can add a callout, which I used to uh, use a lot, but now I don't use them because I just zoom in. You can add a text box like this one right here and move it how long you, have, you want it and you can, uh, this is your media so you can add a picture right here and put it right here and um, video actions basically what they are is um, you have this text box right here well I'm just gonna delete the text box you have my face right here so um, I forgot what the dimensions were well let's just leave it like that so you make the video I'm going to put it right in the middle and I start talking but then when I show the application or whatever I'm doing you don't want to have my face in front all the time 
So what I would do right now is, um, for example, right here, uh, I add a video action, and it adds that small bar right there. So now I just drag this outside, and like right here, it's in the middle, and after this, it's in wherever you put it later. And then you add another video action, and you drag it in again. So um, now we're gonna hit play. Hey guys. And you can see right there it just ran out and if we continue it goes in. So um, you can delete those. And um, for example if you want to uh, make a call out, uh, let's just put this outside. If you want to highlight something, uh, let's say right here I want to show that I went to Safari. I'm gonna add a video action. A video action, you have to select first the video. So I'm gonna select my screen and add video action. So um, basically everything before this line is like this and after this line is what I do after. So I zoom in and I go right here. And now you can see right here is normal and right here is uh, zoomed in. So I'm gonna Hit play right here, and you can see how it zooms in. So, um, on video actions, you can also add a scale, a scale effects. For example, you select the video and you add a video action, and then you zoom in. So, uh, next time you'll see the video, it zooms in. Um, you can also make it flip so add video action and you do that if you want or I don't know why would you want to do that but imagine you just want to have it like that and then you go through the video and it zooms in and then it flips around so that's just a simple tutorial on how to um, use ScreenFlow and now I'm going to do uh, well, actually, I'm going to leave the thing I wanted to show right now for our next video. Um, on our next video, I'm going to show you how to export it using HD features. Because um, I don't want to make this video too long. So, that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And follow me on Twitter. And goodbye.